Hi everyone, this is Gator Gidge. I am going to be doing a little bit of changes in the master suite. Not too much, just a little bit. Changing the lamps out from the last haul I did, I went to Bell's. And if you missed that, that was in my Christmas video. Uh, looking for the perfect piece to place over the mantle. Anyway, it's on Gator Gidge. And uh, I think I'm gonna move this. I store blankets and then I put the overflow in here. So I wanna relocate this and bring the little bench from our dining room area in here. And it has a black top, which will go with the headboard. Okay, and the main focus for my um, video is to continue on the decluttering and organization of my, my closet. So my husband and I share the closet. I did uh, get rid of a lot of items, clothing items, and then this is his section. And that's my section. That's the green bins are his section. I got storage up there. Lots of empty boxes up there. So let's see how many items I can declutter today. All right, I'm ready to get started on the bedroom. A little bit of decorating going on today. And these are all of the organizers I bought and actually didn't spend a whole lot because I got them on clearance. They were actually off season. So if you're patient and you wait, you can get some really cute things. Um, or if not, you can use what you have. So I already had these baskets. And so I, I'm already very organized, but I like to um, continue the organization and make it look beautiful. And this is a big container. These are the lamp shades and then the lamps. I also got my, the, uh, just to start on these hangers, they're a little on the pricey side, but these are the felt hangers that I plan to use in the closet and a, a little tray that I may or may not use. I haven't decided. First thing I'll do is go ahead and take these lamps existing lamps out. Okay, first one. I'm going to remove the second one. not too bad. That was pretty easy. Setting things outside the room so that I have room to work with. So I'm gonna, this is the first lamp and if you can believe it, I paid two dollars. Two dollars. Normally $39.99. So I bought these two dollars each. So Think about that, almost $80, and it only costs $4. I'll be right back. I'm going to set these lamps up. All right, this is what it looks like. And the only thing I might have to get used to is, well, I need to put the cords behind, but the, uh, switches on the cord so we'll see if that works for us there's that one and this one i just need to take the wrapping off all right next thing i'm going to do is change out this tray i am going to keep it and use it somewhere else but i'm going to try the square tray because when I use this mirror, I can't really change the angle because it hits this little corner here. 
anyway hey so all the clutter's out there it is right there I'm gonna switch the trays out and I will be switching it to this one right here Let's see if that works better yep I'll be able to adjust the mirror just like that okay I'm gonna go ahead and All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this all out of the way for now. All the bins that I'm gonna be organizing with, well, I'm taking this big, uh, trunk, which I bought it years ago from Pier 1 Imports. All right, guys, so now I'm going to move this out and bring in the little um, bench. All right, got the trust, trusty gliders. And I will just stack all of my blankets over here. I think it'll be easier that way. We got some sheets in here too. I forgot about they're extra big for the sleep number bed. Ugh. Okay, I need to declutter some of these. That will be fun getting rid of stuff. More blankets. Oh my gosh, this is too much. I have to declutter. Vintage shoe shapers. that one. Oh, I love yellow. So this one I can use again. I had it put away, but our little puppies are gone. They passed away. So they would get snagged on this. So I could probably use this again. So, I don't know why I have this baby blanket. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. That's a lot of stuff. 
I need to declutter, declutter. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this out of the way and bring in the, the bench. And this way. And I shall return. Here's the little bench. Time to Sort the quilts, blankets, see which ones I'm going to keep, and figure out where I'm going to place these containers, open my hangers, and start transferring clothes that I'm keeping onto these felt hangers, and we'll see how far I get. So I'm going to go get blankets. Here is the pile of blankets, sheets, tapestry throws that I took out of that huge trunk. So I'm going to go ahead and sort and see which ones I'll keep. I'll gift to someone else, sell at my garage sale, or donate. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with pillowcases and sheets. We have a sleep number bed, so... I definitely need to keep and remember that I have these. So my sheets are a keep. Um, this is a giveaway. Okay, so donate pile is gonna go here. There's another sheet. Keep, donate, throw. Uh, I think this is for camping. You can put your little um, sleeping. It's a cocoon. So I'm probably going to not keep that. Okay. Keep. 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 So sleep number, bed, or keep. Um, maybe, I like yellow. Maybe, don't know yet. Definitely this is a keep. Right after the holidays, I'll drape this on the back of my couch. Donate. And this is a keep. Baby blankets, a donate. Tapestry, keep. Um, this is a comforter. I keep when I want to change it out. I will donate. And I will keep. This goes to a comforter. I use this in the guest bedroom around the holidays. So I think I will get that ready. Even though I like yellow. This is really thin now, and I'm going to donate, donate, here's the comforter, keep, and this is a keep, so, quilt, so I have one, one quilt, two comforters, this is a blanket, a throw, like afghan, and another throw. I don't know if I'll keep that. And these are the pillow shams, so yeah. And of course the sheets, so hmm. This is still a maybe. All right, so let me put these away.
and I'll be right back. I decided to go ahead and donate all of this, even these sheets. Um, they're not really the right size, and then just is the sleep number set. So I have another set and the one on this. So that should be plenty. 14 items. Let me uh, zoom in there. Okay. There's the stack. So here's the landing area. I did fold. I um, have this bag of purses. And I did fold all of the items that I'm donating. And I added those 14 blankets, sheets, or throws to the pile. So that's where we're at so far. All right, let me show you what's in this bag. Donating some purses. Well, first garage sale, what doesn't sell, I will donate. So there's one, two, three, four, five purses and two bags. So I'm decluttering things that I do not need or use and it feels great. It's time to unwrap the hangers. So this is what they look like. They're a pink felt, 25 in each packet. So 50 hangers. Gonna grab some clothes and start switching that out. And this is where we're at so far in the closet. And I'm hoping to work on that shelf today and this shelf today. If I could zoom in better up there. This is a tight closet. Also would like to go through my shoes. So I'm gonna use the bed as a landing area. And all that plastic noise here is me unwrapping. All right, I'm gonna do a little at a time. And as I go through these um, shirts, I'm gonna see if there's something else I don't want. And just take it from there. I probably will not be showing all of this because it can become very long and tedious and um, want to keep this going but yeah so these are supposed to help with a better grip and then you can even hang up a, a scarf here in this little area um, if you have a scarf that you always wear with a certain item um, I like well I'm a school teacher so I like the glitz this is my fourth of July or Veterans Day anything patriotic so that's kind of why I do tend to have a lot of tops. We celebrate everything. And also I do have a different outfit on today because this is a different day. Um, so once I put on the Christmas red, not the sweater I had, this is being recorded on another day. So anyway, I'll come back in a little bit and show you the progress. I might just do this off, cam off camera some more and move on to my next decluttering because I really want to go through the shoes and I really want to remove all those um, items from the top shelves. So I'm going to set this project aside for a little bit.
until you get busy with the other. Okay, moving on to the next project. Um, Pioneer Woman Pillows given to me by my sister. I was going to redo one of the bedrooms with these, but this is my inspiration, but I'm not sure yet. So, homemade candles. Oh, I know what's in here. I probably have more scarves. I have more scarves because I really like scarves. So I need to decide what I'm going to do with these. And I have, um, this is a purse for my late mother-in-law. And I keep it display it in here. I will keep this. And like I said, I, I said I know I have some empty boxes. These are empty shoe boxes. All right, gonna get rid of those. And this is my little Snoopy from when I was in eighth grade. And it says Puppy Love given to me by one of my favorite teachers. My dad used to help her at her house all the time, so I put that there. Um, oh my gosh, this must be stuck. Okay, there we go. And this is a little box I probably got at a garage sale or a thrift store. It's beautiful, and I have treasures in it. I have mementos from my my mother-in-law who passed away, and I'm um, going to keep those. So this has already been downsized, and this these are what we're keeping for. This is my husband's mom for memories. All right. Kind of getting blocked in here, guys. This is a tight squeeze. Just tossing things into the room. And I do use these hats all the time. Yep. Here's this hat. This one. And I like to tie scarves around them and this one so I will keep those these are little cedar blocks they make your closet smell nice and keep the moths away so let me toss my hats over there um, this basket I have I have downsized this these are the only extra curtains and drapes, shears that I want to keep, but I do have more baskets to organize with. And then the last one is this basket. I keep our sheets in here. Oh, I have two more sheet sets. I thought I just had one more. I have two, three, so that'll give me four. That's plenty. And that's about it for now. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this area down, just dust it. Oh my goodness. All right, I need to move over a little bit. That side is clean. Gonna zoom around to show you where the true mess is at. Okay, things always get worse before they get better. Here's the landing zone. Oh, 
on my step stool and I'm going to start clearing more boxes. Oh, goodness. Oh, I think I need to get rid of this. I can't believe I still have that. This is when I was in a car wreck and I had therapy for my neck. Oh my goodness. Oh, keeping all these boxes. Ugh. I think I'll get rid of these. These are my good food boxes. Oh. oh, same with this. I don't need this stuff anymore. Okay, I'm running out of room down here a walk-in closet but it's not it's it's not huge more boxes mm. again I don't, I don't know if I can get that I might have to get a step ladder same here This has my camera, camera equipment. Oh, haven't used that in a long time. Probably should use it. And then I have all this. I need to actually get a step ladder. All right, got a step ladder. Now I can reach this box. Camera bag. Oh, my goodness. Dusty. Dusty, dusty, dusty. I don't like dust. Um, not sure what's in here. Another camera. Or maybe an empty box because I probably have the camera in here. Another, another camera. Um, photo paper for my printer and for my photos and then this oh that's what that is that's a printer maybe I don't know um, still have some film and there's Film in this. I don't know whose it is. I need to develop it. All in this box. I don't even know what that's for. All right. Just gonna dust. go through and decide which ones I want and which ones I don't want. Oops, the power's gonna fall.
so there's so much so much stuff okay th those are my husband's shoes and these are just this is already organized it has shoe shining and I have a A scale. What's this? Oh, the t-shirt. Say Mondays should be optional. How's that? Mondays should be optional. I have another another sister that makes um, junk art. Well, trophies, like she get you know, realizes what you like, like chili, coyotes for me, and rocks, because I love collecting rocks, sewing. Anyway, real cute trophy. And I have a metal detector, but I'll leave that there. I'm getting ready to do a lesson with my kiddos. We're reading an article about buried treasure and we will be metal detecting in the playground. That should be exciting for them. So I think that pretty much takes care of it. I already organized this. These are the purses I want to keep and my another hat. Another hat. For the winner and a makeup traveling bag uh, my camel water pack two purses and a um what do you call those the ones that you tie around you i forgot what you what you call them anyway if you remember what they're called you could post it in the comments and if you like this video so so far don't forget to like and subscribe subscribing is free and click the thumbs up thank you because i'm trying to grow my channel i started changing hangers out in this area not quite finished yet so I'm going to be going through the rest of this clothes. Up. And here's a look. And we'll show you the progress. Oops. And then I have these shoes over here. Let me go around. Well, there's a footstool I was using, but there you go. It's a mess. It's a mess. Big, big mess. I better get busy. I'm, I'm trying to come up with an organization plan. Um, this is going to take some time and it would make for a very long video. So I'm going to organize. Um, see what I'm going to use for the organization containers and oh yeah found, an, <laughs> found another one but I think I'm going to get rid of the green and then also one of my husband's green containers was completely empty so like I said he tends to not have a lot I guess when I retire I'll get to not have a lot anyway the abundance is overwhelming um, and I'm on this journey because I see in the future when I have to declutter my mom's house well along with my siblings I look around and I see so much great memories and stuff and they're special to her but someday I will leave this earth and really don't want to leave a huge mess for my kiddos. Anyway, 
So not a minimal minimalist, guys. I'm not a minimalist, but I have things that I've not used and I'm ready to let go. So hopefully this video will inspire you, but I will share my how far I get today with organizing and whatever I don't finish will do and leave for episode three. All of that organization and decluttering has made me hungry. My husband made me a beautiful salad, homemade dressing, and I'm gonna zoom into the stove. It's got some tamales steaming. Yum. All right. I'm gonna share an organization tip. Um, what I like to do is you get one of the pillowcases and you place the set in here. And it all stays together. So when you grab a set, you just grab the case, the pillowcase. So then um, I always take this and tuck it in. And you have a nice little pouch. Oops. So I have a couple more pillowcases and sets in here. So I have three and hopefully that's going to fit in the closet and I'll give you a progress check and just to know, let you know, you can find organization for an inexpensive amount. This was $24.99. I got it on clearance for $1.25. It's out of season. And it's not that I went thematic because <clears throat> my husband's, a, excuse me, my husband's a Floridian. So we already have a touch of Florida in our house and a touch of the Southwest in our house. So, yeah, we both love the beach, but I love the desert and the southwest also and the mountains. So, we just decorate the way we want and make our home a happy place. So, I'm going to take you into the master closet, show you what I've done so far. All right, let's go on into the master closet. And shelves are still empty. I'm placing the sheets in that corner and I will be using my step stool to take that down when I need it. And then this is the progress so far. I have my husband's work shirts and some of his work pullovers and flannel shirts in these two bins, getting rid of the green ones. And then this other bin so far, I have my purses. And just to let you know what else I did great savings on, I left the tags here. So this was originally $14.99. And I paid 75 cents for this container here. And then this was $7.99. And I paid 40 cents. So the, these two, 40 cents each. That's great savings. You can organize if you're on a budget. These are the shoes that I'm um, getting rid of. And then I went and have another stack of clothes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven more, eleven more pieces of clothing going. And then 
this is what it looks like so far and these are the shoes I'm keeping that's the empty bin three pairs of boots one two three we're back there so one two three and then um, two dressy shoes these are some sandals here and swim shoes and then this is what it looks like up here so far memorabilia and have to keep those boxes as far as my clothing here are the ones that have the new hangers and then from there on I haven't gone through and I'm out of hangers so anyway I'm going to stop here this is Gator Gidge thanking you for watching and subscribing ciao ciao